feeling the Arctic blast. But before then, temperatures are actually going to get mild once again, sort of like yesterday, a repeat of that. Satellite and radar very quiet right now. We have this air of low pressure, which will stay to our north and kind of push north and east away from here. And with that high centered just to our south, that's what's going to aid in bringing us or keeping us nice and dry. That previous storm, yeah, that brought in all that rain and caused all that flooding and all that, that's out of here. It's allowing now for those winds to relax a bit. This is our next system. Now in the four corners, it's going to continue to push uh, across the south southern plains in toward the Great Lakes before diving into our area. As you can see here, very quiet peaks of sunshine on and off. Looks like a few uh, scattered flurries perhaps later on this afternoon or late e late afternoon, early evening, but it's really hit or miss. It's not really going to put a dent in our snowfall totals at all or anything like that as far as our stats are concerned. But then increasing clouds giving way to showers, snow showers, Ulster, Sullivan counties, but much of what we're going to see rain. Now keep in mind that temperatures are going to be rising. We're on the east side of the storm, so we're going to be tapping into that moisture from the Gulf again, but because we have that inversion, you know, rising temperatures as you go up in the atmosphere, that's going to aid in adding a little bit of stability and taking away some of the punch. But nonetheless, though, rain is still going to be coming down at a good clip during the overnight hours. This is what it looks like at one heavy downpours could get even some flash flooding when all is said and done tapering off three to about four o'clock in the morning, kind of like yesterday, not going to be as windy, but certainly enough to cause some damage. There could be a wind advisory issued uh, heavy rain, coastal flooding, minor to moderate river flooding and strong wind. So that's what we're going to be paying close attention to right now. Temperatures upper 30s, low 40s, and then this afternoon in the 40s tonight will be in the 30s. And here's a look at your seven day forecast. There you go. Temperatures rising late tomorrow night into early Saturday, peaking those highs in the upper 50s before taking a sharp dive. Colder air returning early next week, just in time for Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Jury's still out as far as this rain snow chance. It looks like the possibility is still there. We'll have a closer look, but the main story in addition to that, very cold temperatures, Alex.